Thanks for joining us today on Good Day Stateline. No Shave November is coming to an end, which means some very straggly beards are going to need some help. Tony from the Parlor Barbershop and Haberdashery is ready to tackle them. Hi, Tony. How you doing? Can you explain to me what a haberdashery is? <laughs> a haberdashery <laughs> is a place where it's like a one-stop shop. Okay. For like, we just kind of turned into a one-stop shop for men, but like a long time ago, you could get everything from food. You would, they were bathhouses. They were, you was a one-stop shop. Like place. Target. You can't take a shower at Target, <laughs> but you know, it's, <laughs> it's just like Target. It's just like Target. Just like yeah. Target. Okay, now I'm going to memorize the word forever because it's just like Target. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, Tony, tell me a little bit about um, the parlor, barbershop, and haberdashery. Well, we started the parlor, my wife and I, and we wanted a place where you could shut down. You know, okay. you didn't have to, there were, there's no rules in the shop. Like, you can say what you want, like, whatever everybody taught you not to do in a place <laughs> is what we do in the place. Because we want everyone to have fun awesome. and just be themselves and relax because we're plugged in all day. And for 25, 30 minutes for a haircut, 40 for a shave and a haircut, it's good to just detach from everything and, and just relax, be yourself, have a beer and carry on mixing with the conversations. And that's the like the perfect time to do that. Yes. For me, yes. you know, getting my hair and makeup done, whatever it's, yes. you end up talking about stuff you had no idea you're going <laughs> <Yes>. to. <laughs> it gets pretty colorful, you know, just a, a warning, you know, it's, it gets very, very colorful in the shop. And we have a, a blast. Bryce and Elena, everybody, those are the other barbers in the shop, and we just have a blast all day long. It's great. It's like a little family. Awesome. How long yeah. have you been there? We've been there, come stroll on state this year, five years. Okay. Yeah. So we've been downtown for five years. That's a that's a good chunk of time to be it down is. there. It is. <laughs> we were super nervous. We took a huge chance and just let karma take its course. And you anyone know? who's and been downtown in the last five years know oh yeah. that it's been a very significant it's five years. It's great to see everybody coming back downtown. That's it's great. fantastic. And so obviously you must have a background in barbering, is that a word? Yeah, actually, <laughs> I was actually a framing carpenter oh, for a well. long time, but seven years in the industry now with barbering and everything. So it's it was quite the change, but needed to happen. I was getting bored. You got to find something you that you love. Yeah, and yeah. And being able to sit and BS with everyone is it's fantastic. <laughs> kind of like so, right here. Yes. Only there perfect. are rules. There's rules here. <laughs> about what but. we could say. <laughs> if you want to have no rules, you go to the barber yeah. shop. So no shave November. Yes. Is that your favorite time of the year or your least favorite is, time of the year? <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it's a double-edged sword, you know, but we always carry stuff in the shop for beards and beard maintenance and stuff like that. And Sarah is actually going to be uh, bringing in a lot more uh, product and everything come mm -hmm. the first of the year so okay. stay tuned we're gonna have a lot lot more so it'll be it'll be good but it's 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 a double-edged sword because you get a lot of people that are super new yes and you don't want to give them something that's not practical sure you know you still have to go to work it still should look clean clean and nice and blended and shaped very well we have some before and after photos okay um so i know that that's kind of showing off your skills a little bit mm -hmm. No shave November. Sometimes people come in looking kind of messy, and you got to clean them up. Yes, yes. It can be a bit <laughs> sporadic everywhere. They're like, man, they sit down and they're just like, let's let's just do something nice, you know. <laughs> so we get them all cleaned up. The biggest thing is the consultation, okay. making sure everybody that they the client gets what they want. Right. Yeah, at the so end of the day, you're looking at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yep. So if we wanted more information, where could we get it from you? Um, you can call the shop. 815-963-2614, the parlor, barbershop, and haberdashery, and Sarah will answer any questions you have. <laughs> Not you. I, if you want to come in and get a haircut and a beard a beard trim, I will answer any questions okay, you want. Okay, but if you but, call, you got Sarah. Yes, but if you call, you've got Sarah, and Sarah is super knowledgeable. So Perfect. Well, good luck with those straggly beards. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by. Up next, Trisha's here from Rockton Village to tell us everything that's going on there for the holidays. And later, we take a visit to Karata Chiropractic. We'll be right back with more Good Day Stateline.
weather impacts a lot of people. It was very impactful for me growing up on a dairy farm, for my dad, for farmers during the spring and fall planting and harvest, even during the winter to a school bus driver and knowing whether or not they need to get in early that next morning. My job is to take all of that information and put it together into a forecast that you can understand, but also a forecast that you can trust. 